Hi, I'm Henry of BlueHeronArts.com. Now I'm going to show the process of uh, making a Chinese name seal. And this seal is for Ole Rice in Norway. And uh, he has uh, selected his own Chinese name from a website uh, called uh, Make a Chinese Name. And you can find the, um, the link under the YouTube description. Um, here, um, let me write this. Um, the last name uh, in Chinese, uh, he picked uh, Ran. It's derived from the pronunciation of rice. And Ole, uh, he picked uh, these uh, two characters. Uh, love and uh, spirit. Um, Ai Lin, that's the Chinese name. Lin also means essence, uh, spirit. So Ran Ai Lin. Um, I, I used uh, some reference uh, from the ancient uh, seals and made a design on the computer. Um, I made both positive and negative, and this was what was my primary design, and he uh, likes it. So I uh, made a, a copy with a laser jet, uh, so I can transfer it on the stone. I just did that with the acetone nail polish remover liquid, and uh, you can see as if I made a copy, and uh, instantly. Um, there's an accident uh, in the uh, in the uh, print uh, on the stone. So actually, I made uh, this many attempts, and uh, this one I liked with a happy accident. I consider it as a divine inspiration. So the, it looked like uh, the the stone has uh, chipped with age, so it gives us a more antique uh, look. And this character uh, has a symmetrical two symmetric side. Uh, now it, it's uh, naturally balanced with uh, broken with uh, uh, the accent. So I'm going to keep that uh, chip. So every stage of uh, design and carving um, is uh, um, open to random um, happy mistakes. So I this is the what uh, inspired me for the entire seal. So I want to make it really artistic. He does very good sumier painting in my class, online class. Uh, I will show his painting in the end of this uh, video and uh, to see how this seal look like on his uh, artworks. Actually, Ole is currently having vacation in Thailand. Uh, so you can see, you can even take a class um, from me when you're on vacation. I had students taking, uh, taking the class from the cruise from France to somewhere. So this is really convenient, right? You can learn from a vacation trip. I'm using this uh, huge knife to make this kind of uh, style that I like. It's kind of dull, kind of sh uh, instead of sharp cuts. That's why I use a larger cutting tool. This is a Qingtian stone, the crispy one. 
it makes nice noise. Just let that go. It's not planned, but uh, it happens on the on the transfer. So I want to make it like look like natural. to keep the definition of the strokes it will not affect the reading just broken enough character is I, or love, to love. has to do with heart, so this radical is like a chest surround of the heart. making heart surgery has to be very careful okay so that's it now this uh, <coughs> spirit character meaning spirit or the essence this the top part is like uh, the ring, red, ring, ring, the radical. Symbolize the sky.
they are not all the same width. Sometimes the vertical strokes are heavier, sometimes the, the horizontal ones. So it all depends. Calligraphy is the base for this. And the knife is used as a brush. There's a lifting, pressing, movement all the time. Square of mass vertical symbolize some uh, you know, the offerings to the spirit, I guess. And uh, there's actually a the radical you could omit sometimes it's present is the shaman the shaman offering spirit uh, the sacrifices this is actually, this is probably that so this is how you communicate with the the Tao of the heaven by offering of uh, jade and silk or animals and fruits or that kind of so this is uh, how this character was made to make the three objects slightly different from each other. So there's a variety in unity. <coughs> this last character is the fun one. I'm using the big knife again, which is uh, seal, in Chinese. It's a common character. When you have four uh, to make a four uh, character seal, you always add this one to the three characters in Chinese name. Someone's seal. You always see this in the name seals. Stroke order or direction sometimes just the opposite of writing but create the same effect as you write.
something and some sect created a reason. Now I'm going to make the chips and the break brokenness on the edge. Originally uh, simulate the old antique uh, CO, you know, the rust and the, this kind of thing, but you can create this kind of effect. Antiquarianism is the taste of this kind of art. The, old, the older, the better. Just like you wash the jeans, right? You don't want to wear the jeans when it's uh, not faded. Right? Just wear it, the edge. do a little clean up and uh, we'll make the first imprint. Okay, now I'm going to make an uh, imprint um, the first time to see how it looks like. I think uh, it's good um, and uh, just need some uh, further fine tuning to make uh, some uh, thin, thin lines a little thicker and to balance the transition. Did the, the fine twin and then now I'm going to make another imprint. Okay, this time it's much cleaner, right? Just a little bit. On this uh, edge. And a few dots, and that's what that will be it. Okay, now I'm going to put uh, my seal in this uh, official album. Uh, this is all the, the seal I did in past few months and uh, I feel up pretty fast. I'm going to put this uh, pad underneath it. The dragon facing me is a dragon eye side facing me. Press evenly and then hold the paper and lift gradually. Now we have a perfect imprint. The so next I'm going to do an um, oven leaf for the customer.
press hard and then lift gradually. Now we have a perfect print print. So Ran Ailin is the Chinese pronunciation for Ali Rice in Norway. And uh, thank you Ali for your commission of doing your uh, artist name chop and we'll show how it looked like on your painting. Hope you enjoy it. And thank everybody for watching. If you have a need for your own name sale, please contact me at blueheronarts.com. Bye.